Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DX UK, and this is a video just to show my uh, separate antenna tuning using, uh, unit that I use um, for my Shegu uh, G90 for, of course, when I'm doing my ham radio operations. And it's this coupler AT1000. Now, um, from what I've read, uh, the information that I've read online is that um, this was brought over. Um, to the uh, European market and here to the UK by Waters and Stanton from uh, Japan. Um, I can't remember the, br uh, the brand now that this was under Japan, but certainly uh, Waters and Stanton, like I said, um, they've brought this over to uh, the UK and uh, Europe so they could uh, sell these. Okay, so what it is is that um, when I bought this uh, antenna tuning unit, I bought it something like 10 years ago when I still wasn't a ham radio um, operator okay I got licensed um, last year in early um, 2023 but over 10 years ago when I bought this like I said I wasn't a, a licensed ham and it was when I was still a very active um, you know short wave and medium wave um, DX listener um, and uh, the reason I got this was so that so that I could tune as best as possible let's say the long wire antennas that I had you know uh, thrown out of my uh, of my windows um, you know, using that long wire as an antenna for my uh, for my receivers. But um, using this, I, I thought I'd give this a go because I still use long wire um, for when I do my ham radio operations, okay? Um, from when I'm transmitting out. And this does a great, great job um, indeed um, when I've got it connected, you know, to my Shegu um, G90. Of course, the Shegu G90 has its own antenna tuning unit as well, and it's great. But using this, the antenna tuning unit in the Shegu G90, then connected to this antenna tuning unit, it is great. The thing is, something else as well, because I did a video about this. Um, the Shegu G90, although it has a great antenna, uh, antenna tuning unit, like I said, um, when you uh, go below um, 40 meters, say down to 80 meters and 160 meter band, um, it doesn't um, you know, uh, tune that well. Uh, any antenna that you connect to it okay i mean it's great that you can use a very simple antenna to the shegu g90 and it will tune it really really well okay but unfortunately like i said go below 40 um like i said 80 and 160 meters and uh, the sw reading swr reading rather goes really really high and you don't want that you want to keep it as low as possible so all the power going out of the transceiver will stay out of the transceiver rather than going back into it but um yeah when i started using this uh, antenna tuning unit the purpose of it you know for you know for the shegu g90 um was to try and use the 80 meter band with a simple long wire and it worked it worked great i managed to make a lot of contacts um you know on the 80 meter band with this um you know using this antenna tuning unit connected to my shegu g90 i have also tried to take the 160 meter band managed to get a few signals out but no QSOs um, and the thing is the 160 meter band here at home you know uh, or in my location here is really really noisy so that I'm afraid I won't be able to uh, do but the 80 meter band doing this for when the ATU the antenna tuning unit on the Shegu G90 could not you know um, tune my um, you know my uh, long wire this w uh, has made it possible so I can do um, FT8 and FT4 um, on the uh, 80 uh, meter band so this is something to think about if for example you want a cheap um, you know uh, and effective solution simple solution as an antenna tuning unit for your Shegu G90 or any other transceiver you use I don't know how much they go for now I'm assuming they are still cheap that's why I say that they're you know I said they're cheap when I bought this I think I paid something like 40 50 British pounds or something like that um, but like I said I don't know how much they go for um, now but um, like I said, if you go for one of these, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's certainly a very, very good solution for the Shegu uh, G90. I also don't know how much power um, these can go up to. Of course, my Shegu G90, the maximum it can do is 20 watts. I'm assuming this coupler 80,000, 81,000. I don't know, maybe it goes up to, 50, you know, it's recommended to go up to 50 watts or something like that. I'm not sure, but I'll just recommend, you know, if you don't to risk using too much power, just use something like going up to, you know, 20 uh, watts. But yeah, and let me just show you here, the bands it can do, right? It can do all the way from the, uh, like the medium wave band, um, 
starting at 500 megahertz, um, sorry, 500 kilohertz rather, and it goes up to uh, 30 uh, megahertz. Although I've used this um, antenna tuning unit as well to uh, transmit on the six meter band, and it does a very nice job indeed. You know, um, the SWR reading um, when I use it on my Shegu XCT100, right? Because that can go up to uh, six meters. Unfortunately, my Shegu G90 can only go up to 10 meters, doesn't have six meter band. This uh, coupler 81000 does a very good job indeed, you know, keeping that SWR reading low for the, uh, for the six meter band. So this was just a video showing my, uh, you know, my uh, coupler 81000 uh, antenna tuning unit that I use for the Shegu G90 for those bands, like I said, for the 80 meter band, the 160 meter band that my uh, Shegu G90 cannot uh, tune to with a uh, simple antenna. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another video.